So in this video we will learn how to use the free transform tool to change the perspective of an object or text in Adobe Illustrator CS6. So let's get started. So here we have the text and the object from our thumbnail. But before we can use the free transform tool to change the perspective, we need to select everything, go to object and expand it right here. Make sure object and fill is selected and click OK. This will outline everything you selected. If you don't outline your text, the free transform tool will only work on the text box and not the text itself. So after expanding all the text and objects, we are now ready to use the free transform tool. So go to the side panel and select free transform tool. And if you have the new Adobe CC, you will have some different options to choose from under this free transform tool. But in CS6, as this tutorial is about, we only have this free transform tool and then we access the different modes by using some modifier keys on the keyboard. I guess Adobe figured out that this is more confusing than it should be. So if I have the free transform tool selected and I grab this corner right here, you can see that I only distort it like this. And that is not really what we want. And maybe you tried using the shift alt and control keys but it didn't work either. But it's actually really, really simple. The modifier keys we want to use is actually Control Alt and Shift, also called Command Option Shift on Mac. And the reason why it doesn't work is because we need to click this corner before using the modifier keys. Right now I'm holding down the left mouse key and then I'm clicking Control or Command and this will enable us to distort this specific corner. We also have the options to do symmetrical distortion. So once again, click and hold this corner, and this time we press both Ctrl and Alt key, which on Mac is Command Option. This will make a symmetrical distortion. As you can see, whatever I do to this corner right here, this corner right here will do the opposite. So I pulled this corner up and to the left, and the opposite corner was pulled down and to the right. And now we have the final option that we've all been waiting for, which is Perspective Distortion. So let's go to the corner again and click and hold. And this time we press both Ctrl, Alt and Shift or Command Option and Shift. And this will enable us to change the perspective. And we can also do it the other direction. Thank you for watching.